So today's project, everybody, is setting up the trash pump for draining our collection tank, the 275 gallon IBC tote, to the stainless steel tank for maple syrup. This is a three inch master quality power trash pump. It's just an off brand generic that we picked up. We figured out we've had it on the shelf for many years. Picked it up at a super discount. I've talked about it in some of our other videos for maple syruping and preparation. But we had an open one that we had used for pumping creek water to irrigate. We wanted a totally clean one, so we opened up a fresh box. So we filled it up with some oil. Boy, that'd kill my arm. My shoulder can't take that. <laughs> so that's why a lot of people use like a 12 volt uh, pump system that hooks right to their battery on their truck or their tractor. So he put some oil in it, put some gas in it. Listen to that idle. He had noticed something he thought was really funny. Okay, it's made in China. Thank you for your P-U-R-O-C-H-E-S. P-U-R-O-H-A-S-E. They punched in an O instead of a C. They didn't have anybody in the proper departments for translation. They had to use Google Translate and it got all goofed up. But if this says it's a six and a half horsepower, it says electronic ignition. And part of the reason for opening this one up, the one that we had borrowed out, there were loose wires that I didn't know where they were going to. We wanted it clean and sanitary for your maple syrup. A lot of people are trying to sell you maple syrup on things that they have processed that haven't been food grade, clean or sanitary, rusty gross. We're not doing that. We want to grow this and have it be our retirement. It's not just a little backyard hobby. Myself, my kids, we're using our maple syrup. We want that sap kept clean as possible. This is model PT70400. It says it will pump 16,000 gallons per hour and 13,000 gallons per hour rated flows with a hundred feet maximum total head. Looks like it's 20 feet for suction lift. We're gonna be pumping from the back of the pickup truck to the top of the manhole on the dairy tank. So we picked up some fittings here. It comes with just your basic fittings, uh, barbed, for three inch so we need to reduce this down to two inch tractor supply menards they all have these gator locks so we picked up a three inch to two inch pvc reducer gator locks for the hoses and we've got some brand new flexible hose to hook up 25 feet for each end and i actually just saw on tractor supply website today that they have some water hose that is marked down that's a one and a half inch so you could even check their clearance sections and reduce it down. I don't want to restrict the flow of the water too much, so two inches is plenty of a reduction, I think, for this. He's getting me all set up with quick connects. 
with the gator locks and he picked me up caps to keep any mice from getting into the pump. Caps and plugs for all hoses and pumps. That's awesome. Oh, everything, everything has a cap or plug. Uh huh. And he made it so that I can link my hoses together. Because right now I've got a 25 foot hose for inlet and a 25 foot hose for outlet. We are getting a rain and snow mix right now, which is just lovely. It's a mess. It was raining earlier when I was emptying my buckets in the yard. And of course he moved my sap tank further away. So I got nice and wet and I had the wrong rubber boots on. So I switched. I had water going in my shoe. So here we've got gator locks on my two sections of uh, 25 foot hose and he made it so I can connect my hoses, connect it to the pump. And then he's doing the same thing on this end to get me all assembled with everything we need. Mm -hmm. Cap. This goes in the valve in the tote with a cap on it. Okay. Yep, so we can do that. That's good. They're called cam lock. What did I say? The brand is Gator Lock. Oh, yeah. There's cam lock fitting. Yep. looking great all right we're ready to run our first run on the pump so I am going to open the valves so that the air can go through here and open up this valve okay so we've got this opened up so that it can suck out we're running our first pump got our gator locks hooked up here valves are all open and this is going to get pumped right out into this dairy tank. We've sanitized everything with bleach. Watch your hose! Who oh, no. knew? I was thinking about putting a bungee strap there. The pressure is pushing it out. Started pumping so good. Hold that with your hand, I'll start it back up again. I think it's going on its own just from gravity, isn't it? It is pushing it right out. It is just flowing. Pull back uh, two totes 
full of sap. Yesterday we brought back one full of sap and then all the five gallon buckets full. So that was like another Need milk crate to stand on. Okay, hold that. Bet. He did this for me. I didn't have enough gator locks, cam locks, and so he took off to Menards for me this morning to get everything set up. I was missing one piece, but he wanted to plumb all into the hoses where I was only plumbing one end of the hose and then connecting them. I forgot about discharge. transfer pump that we're using everybody thanks for watching remember to hit that thumbs up and the little notification bell so you know when the next video comes out if you're not already subscribed do it see you next time bye